Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Several years ago, I lamented during one of our weekly visits together that most people were struggling with how to say the year we were living in. When 1999 gave way to 2000, we lost our way and apparently our memory. We all pronounced 1999 as, well, 1999. But how did we handle the pronunciation of the new millennium? Not well, I say. Actually, it wasn't an issue for the first decade. We all said the year was 2000 or 2006 or 2009, no problem. But when the first decade of the century ended, we kept right on going that way. We pronounced the new year 2010 instead of the simpler and sensical 2010. And so it went all the way through the teens. We said 2014 or 2017 or whatever. I kept waiting in vain, it turned out, for us all to start saying 2014 or 2017. And I remember expressing the hope that getting back to the simpler way would sound better by 2020. So here we are, and I have one question. How do you say the year we've been living in for the past two months? Please don't tell me you're a holdout, one of those who insist on saying 2020. Why, you ask, does this even matter to me? I'm not sure. Part of it's rooted in my own natural skepticism about the order of things. I'm only happy, it appears, if I have something to whine about. So with that in mind, here are some other things that give me reason to whine, therefore making me happy. First, why is it that the law requiring drivers to stop for a red light is considered only a suggestion by so many of us? The motorist who sits patiently at his or her own red light, waiting for it to go green, had better look both ways before entering the intersection. Failure to do so can be hazardous to your health. Second, while I accept that presidential elections are the world's series of elective governance in this country, it's troubling to me that we tend as a society to get a little lazy and pay minimal attention to officials at the local level whose decisions impact us every day. A county auditor or a village councilman has a lot to say about our quality of life. We should care more who they are. Third, let me whine for a moment about Toledoans who whine about Toledo. To listen to some of them, you'd think only Toledo has crime or only Toledo gets harsh weather in the winter. But neither bad guys nor blizzards recognize boundaries. Toledo has marvelous assets that make it extremely livable. I could go on and on about the usual suspects, the art museum, the zoo, the libraries, the symphony, but the naysayers don't want to hear it. Fourth, why have we allowed our cell phones to dictate our lives? It may be too late for us adults to save ourselves, but what about the kids? Finally, there's a line in the musical Camelot that says winter, at least in Camelot, is expected to exit March the 2nd on the dot. So how's that working out for you today? Well, that's enough whining for this particular March 2nd. I feel so much better, happy even. Life As We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life As We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life.